Hi and welcome to our new IQ TEFL series where we help you prepare for the job market. Preparing to start working. So, I have my TEFL certificate, but what now? It's time to get a job. How do I go about doing that? Step 1. Create a CV. But what is a CV? A CV is a detailed document showing and highlighting your professional and academic history and experience. But what information should a CV have? A CV should have your contact information, your personal profile, your work experience, your skills and your education. Let's look at the parts of a CV. Let's start with number one, contact information. Here you will show your full name, your job title if you are currently working, your phone number and your personal email address. Let's look at the next part, number two, your personal profile. Here you will write some information about yourself, a brief overview of yourself and who you are, two to three of your skills, two to three of your achievements, and what you hope to do for your new employer. Now let's look at the next part, part three, your work experience. Here you will show the name of the position you currently hold, the name of the company where you are working, the dates that you have worked up until, and three to five bullet points outlining your achievements and responsibilities. The next part is part number four, your education. Here you will give information about your education, your graduation date, your degree and your TEFL certificate, the name of the institution where you got your degree and your TEFL certificate. Okay, so let's have a look at part five of a CV, skills. Here you will note three to six skills relevant to the job you are applying for. So for example, if you are applying for an online teaching job, what is your online teaching experience? Then you will give two to five soft skills. These are personality traits or special skills that you think you have that make you a good and suitable teacher. For example, you could be patient or you could be animated and suitable for teaching young learners. Then you will give examples of how you have used your abilities or skills in your previous job. Let's look at our top tips. Do's. Tip 1. Do. Make your CV unique and eye-catching. Most positions will receive a large number of submissions and any recruitment team will need to process many applications. This is your chance to catch their eye and make an impression. A vibrant CV with an appropriate color scheme and layout will stand out and give you a few extra seconds of reading time, which could move you up the list of candidates. You can also add a professional picture of you to make it more personal. Tip 2. Do. Make it short and concise, including only the relevant information. In essence, you want your CV to be easy to read and understand. No one wants to read pages and pages of unnecessary information just to find the parts that are relevant. Making a CV easy to read will 
earn new extra points with a recruiter and illustrate that you can communicate adequately and efficiently. Use formatting to highlight key areas of your CV in order to draw the attention of the recruiter's eye. Tip 3. Do. Be honest. Whether it's about your experience or qualifications, always be honest and open about what you can do and what you would like to learn how to do. It quickly becomes obvious if there are any discrepancies and this will land you in the rejected pile rather quickly. Honesty is appreciated and will be rewarded in most cases. Let's look at our top tips. Don'ts. Tip 1. Don't. Don't make spelling or grammatical errors in your CV. As a TEFL teacher, spelling and grammar will be your bread and butter. Showing that you have a good understanding of this and you are comfortable with the language is very important. Ask a friend to read through your CV for a second time or run it through a software program that picks up on spelling and grammar errors and make sure to correct these errors before you submit your CV. Tip 2. Don't. Don't include irrelevant experience. Many positions require a certain amount of experience and it is important to show how you hold experience that has equipped you adequately for the role you are applying for. As we mentioned earlier in this video, give examples of how you have used your skills or abilities in your previous roles. Tip 3. Don't. Don't be impersonal. It is perfectly reasonable to be applying to multiple companies and for different positions. However, companies want to see that you want to work for them specifically and that you would be happy to stay with them after they invest in training you up. As we mentioned earlier in this video, give examples of what you hope to do for the company, some interesting facts about the company that you have learned and key areas of interest to you. Thank you for watching this video. Would you like to see some more IQ TEFL videos? Subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips. Thank you and goodbye.